A few weeks back, I did a video about St Anne's Road tube station. Long story short, this was going to be a station on the London Underground, specifically the Piccadilly Line extension to Cockfosters. It would have been between Turnpike Lane and Manor House, where there is currently a long stretch of line with no station. However, Frank Pick, the managing director of London's Underground at the time, vetoed the plan on the grounds that there were sufficient bus and tram services along Green Lanes, and another station would only slow the trains down. In my earlier video, I speculated that the entrance to the station would probably have been about here, on St Anne's Road. Quite a few people in the comments section disagreed. Some, including Mr Jeff Marshall, pointed out that there may in fact be a far better candidate. Near the junction between Green Lanes and Kalina Road, there's a curious and rather neglected looking building, which looks unmistakably like an underground building of the early 1930s. This is a ventilation shaft leading down to the Piccadilly Line. On my first visit, I somehow walked straight past this without spotting it. Yet another reason why I could never be a proper journalist. Was this the intended entrance? Like Underground Electric Railways of London, I did a bit more digging. I'm afraid I still don't have a definitive answer for you, but let us consider the pros and cons. Colina Road was one of the works sites for the Cockfosters extension, and some works sites did become stations. Turnpike Lane and Bounds Green, for instance. Some did not. But given that the Underground already owned this land, wouldn't it make sense to put the station there? Counter to that is the fact that the existence of a ventilation shaft does not equal a station entrance. At Redbridge, for example, there are ventilation shafts quite some distance from the station entrance. Speaking of distances, Kalina Road is not St Anne's Road, which was the provisional name given to the station. Of course, non-indicative names aren't exactly unknown on the underground. The closed station, known as Mark Lane, was not on Mark Lane, being closer to Seething Lane. And we don't know for sure that St Anne's Road would have been called St Anne's Road. The Piccadilly Line stations on this extension went through name revisions before settling, sometimes more than once. Or, as I speculated in my previous video, perhaps the Underground hoped to poach passengers from the already existing St Anne's Road railway station. There may, of course, have been more than one entrance. Probably not on the same side of the main road, though, given that we are in the suburbs. I have encountered the suggestion that the entrance would actually have been on the other side of the road. But the evidence for this seems to be purely that the pavement is quite wide there. So the story goes in anticipation of the station. But this seems to be nothing more than a local rumour. Once again, there doesn't seem to be any concrete evidence for either theory. The station appears to have been abandoned quite early on in development, before any plans were drawn up. Although if you know different, do let me know. On reflection, I am mildly inclined to suggest that the Kalina Road site would have been a more likely candidate, and possibly the station would have been called something different, Green Lanes, Haringey, something like that. While we're here, and while I'm looking at how short this script is, I thought I'd share something else I encountered. I found a vague mention of a possible tube station at Green Lanes, now an overground station. Following this up, I discovered that in 2010, Joanne McCartney, now the Deputy Mayor of London, asked the Mayor's office about the possibility of an interchange there. The response was that it was not something planned, and indeed would probably do more harm than good in the bigger picture. So there you go, it seems that over 80 years later, politicians agreed that Frank Pick made the right call. Well, I hope you enjoyed this well-ventilated tale from the tube. If you did, please do leave a like and consider subscribing for more. Do you think Pick made the right call? I noticed the buses were quite crowded on both my visits. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. I would like, as always, to thank my donors on Ko-fi, on Patreon, and here on YouTube for your generous support. You are the wide pavement to my non-existent building. And I'll see you all again very soon for another Tale from the Tube.